Hey, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Got something in my glasses. Probably my lashes or something. Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> Did y'all see the big party? <laughs> let me ask you a question. YouTube, let me ask you a question, honey. Are we still in a worldwide pandemic? Have the city governments been telling us for damn near a year, for a year, that we have to keep distance between people and we have to wear a mask and we have to continually wash our hands? I mean, am I living on the same planet in the same universe? Let me ask you this. Uh, Fine Monster, this is directed towards you as usual. You seem to be the party favorite of the season. I'm going to ask you this. Why do you have a whole, it looks like a 30 people in this group. 30 people in this group of people. Let me turn the sound down. I'm going to watch as I'm commentating. 30 people all over the, and it looks like a party hall. She came on here bragging a couple days ago about this birthday party. She calls it family, right? Mouth ain't moving right. She calls it family. And I'm trying to figure out, what the hell? Okay, so the music, I can't play the video at the same time I'm, I'm recording, apparently. Anyway, so she playing this video showing us her family in this, uh, it looks like I'm at a party hall or something. I'll say, let me say a couple of good things first about this party. So she calls this video she made a couple of days ago, family, right? And she shows us this party. Someone has just turned 40 years old. So let me say to this family, which I suspect is not actually her family. I want to say to this family. I'm not trying to insult you guys. Your sister or your daughter, your niece, she uh, uh, is a, what they call a YouTuber. So she comes on daily to criticize and critique the other YouTubers in this sector. I'm sure most of you are already aware of this, but I get the distinct impression. Why my mouth will not move right with this got this dog stone computer? Uh, let's try it. We go up one 5.0. Now let's see. That's worse. Mm -hmm. It could be all in my head, I guess. No, it's not in my head. Okay, let me not lose my place. Lose my thought process. She, so family, I ain't got no problem with y'all. This is uh, for this woman, the fine monster. We call her the fine monster here. Because she, she, she presents herself as a monster. So this is her name. So don't take it personally, people. When we criticize things that she's involved in, it is not to criticize you. It is to criticize her. So, let's say a couple of good things about this party she presented to us. First of all, the food looked delicious. Whoever catered the thing is a true professional. They had cakes with the person's name on it, 40th birthday name on it. They had candies with the rappers for this 40th person. This person must be very special in this family. They had everything. They had uh, fine foods. They had uh, exotic fruits. They had everything. So the food looked fabulous. So I give it up to the caterers of this event. The place it looked fine. I don't know if it was in a hotel or something or in some kind of a, a building complex, whatever. The issue is this. People, we're in a worldwide pandemic. I looked, and I looked carefully. Not one person in that party was wearing a mask. Not one person. Now, the fire monster, she's, oh, she's online, right? Because she's got to film everything. So halfway through her meal, she, she peeps, she realizes, oh, oh, I'm online. So she goes into her little po pocketbook and pulls out a little mask rack and eats under the mask. But very soon after that, 
she removes the mask again. So I don't know if she thinks that she's cured now because she had a mask on for a few minutes. She had a mask on for a few minutes around all these people. And my guess is 30, maybe 35 people in there. They're dancing. They're having a good time. But the point is, nobody's wearing a mask, honey. So that is a super spreader event, right? These these events, this is like what they did at the White House. And, you know, huge numbers of them were infected with, with coronavirus. So I don't know why you over here presenting this thing online. Actually, you could be, be arrested. <laughs> there, have been, there have been rare events when they've showed us, I think in Florida mostly, where people have actually, the cops have come and raided their place and shut it down. Not, not arrested, but citation, whatever, and broke it up. Why? Because the people won't refuse to wear a mask. So I don't know why you thought that was something broadcastable, Five Monster. But that, you should be wearing masks. Let's leave it at that. <clears throat> the other issue is you call this event family. Now, as far as I could see, those people, they barely knew you. I mean, they barely even spoke to you. So I'm trying to figure out how in the hell is it family when no one seems to know you. I mean, after the entire event, rarely did you find someone to speak to you. And then you're going around hollering, hey, 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 the whole goddamn event. I'm sure they must wonder, why is this woman over here hollering, hey, 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 hey. what's that little dance she do? Hey, 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 <laughs> girl, are you in a party by yourself? Are you in a, fire monster, if that was your family, I think someone would acknowledge that you were there. I'm just telling you how I saw it, honey. It seemed kind of sad, really. Because if, you, if it was your family, you would be interacting with these people. You would be hugging these people, even though you shouldn't be without masks. Did they even like you? Were they stubbing you? Why were they ignoring you? The only way you were even a part of the party was because you kept hollering, hey, 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 like you were with one of these situations with QB. So that's another issue. Now, well, there was another issue. Oh, when you started looting the event. Now, as I said, someone had went all out for this person, whoever's birthday it was. I mean, they went all out. They had candy bars with the rappers, all of with the, with the 40th birthday on it. And, and I don't know if they put the name, but they definitely put the 40th birthday. Uh, they had all kinds of different kind of candies and things. Uh, they had gourmet type candies and things. They had gourmet food. They had traditional uh, African-American food. I mean, they had it laid out. And then I noticed... What is she doing? You were loading up bags, not a few items, not realizing, okay, well, they couldn't, they couldn't make an endless supply of these things with names on it. You were putting it all in your purse. Well, I'm thinking, why is this woman taking all this people's stuff, particularly if it's not her real family, and putting it all in her purse? I mean, she was stuffing it all in her purse. I mean, who needs to steal Reese's peanut butter cups? Can't you just go buy your daughter a bag of Reese's? Girl, you were getting everything you could get. And you got it all in a plastic bag. And then you told your accomplice, poor little Leah, she wasn't having a good time, honey, with all these adults. They talking about uh, there's some holes in this house. There's some holes. She's probably trying to understand, why are they saying that, mama? Her mama just <laughs> turned it up, honey. But the point is, you were turning it up by yourself. And why were you taking all these people's stuff? When Leah tried to, you told Leah, you, I distinctly heard you tell her to put this in your bag. I'm telling you the truth, people. The child could not fit the bag of stuff she, has, she had taken in her backpack. They couldn't do it. It wouldn't fit. They were stuffing stuff into the backpack to take away. I mean, who knows how much these people spent on these these favors with the names that are embroidered on the names and the packaging and all that kind of stuff. 
when you have a situation like that, Fire Monster, you go and you take one. It's not even for you to eat. This is a souvenir from the party. You're not trying to uh, just have snacks for the for the whole month, honey. Girl, they had to pay somebody to do all that, sh that uh, all that shit, all that packaging and all that special stuff with their name on it and all that kind of stuff. It's just, these are just party favors, honey. You're supposed to take one. You're supposed to take a whole handful of them. You're certainly not supposed to take a whole rack of the candies, these custom candies, to put them in your purse. You should have taken one or two and you saved those for souvenirs. You were at the event. The fuck's wrong with you? Anyway, people. I guess they had no control over the kind of music that was played. The DJ was doing a nice job, but it was adult type music, you know. You don't be exposing your children to no holes in the house. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in it. Girl. I mean, I've never even got, a, got got into how women justify listening to that stuff as being dance music. But it's rap music. Let's face it. It's hip-hop, honey. That's what we listen to. I mean, that's what younger people listen to. We can accept that. But I would think that, you know, this is not really just the music for, for, for little kids. Thankfully, there were, were, I know, at least two other children there. So at least Leah wasn't there by herself. So we can celebrate that. But she was not having a good time. She was not having a good time. And she I'm sure she didn't enjoy being made an accomplice. Because usually the kids are the ones that are grabbing candy and stuff like that. I mean, little kids like, you know, extra candy for when they get home to their room and stuff. But you, you are the mother. And you were packing stuff into the backpacks. All the money them people spent for all that stuff. I mean, it's not like you go out into a, it's not like you go to a convenience store and just buy a candy bar. You know, a candy bar may cost you 75 cents a dollar, right? These people have these things custom made and custom wrapped, uh, uh, custom sealed, whatever. That shit's expensive. That that shit was expensive. And some of those candies, those designer candies, where you were raking them. Remember you had the spoon and you were raking those those, those fancy balls that were, they were covered with some kind of edible glitter on them or something like that and pink and all that. You don't just take those with a spoon and just pack them into your purse, girl. I mean, the child couldn't even close the purse. Fire monster. You're a parent. Y'all have a nice day.